Love and peace, people. Pass the ponder here. We're going to talk about it today. <clears throat> I say this with love. Nobody is coming to save you. I say that with love. I understand a lot of us has been out here in the world and, and we've been beat up. We have a lot of trauma that's in front of us. Some of us may be getting therapy. Some of us may need to get therapy. We've been praying a lot and we feel like prayers are starting to become unanswered. We keep falling down. We get back up, but we're just falling down. We're getting beat up. And then we get to a place where we give up. And we want something or somebody to come take care of us. And then we get mad when that something or somebody doesn't come to take care of us. And I'm challenging you right now to look in the mirror and I'm here to tell you right now that nobody is coming to save you. Nobody's gonna take care of you. You have to take care of yourself. What do I mean by that? It was a point in my life where I was getting beat up so much, bruises, I was in the mud. I was angry, I was cursing everybody and everything out and I became a victim. And I had my hand out. And I thought it was other people's responsibility to take care of me. And I thank God for the lessons he gave me that forced me out of that mind frame because it changed my life completely. God showed me, he said, Julius, nobody is coming to save you because I gave you the tools to save yourself. You understand what I'm saying? He told me to ask the question of why I kept falling, why I kept failing. What did I need to change? See, that's the, that's the one question a lot of us don't, a, don't ask because we don't want to accept the answer. If you keep getting evicted, ask yourself why. Are you paying your rent? Are you saving your money? You keep losing the job, you're losing your job. Are you, are you, are you applying to the right jobs for you? Are you learning new skill sets? Are you learning new tools or sharpening your tools to become a better person? I can't make any money, I can't get any money. Well, are you taking the steps needed to pay off your debt? Uh-oh. Are you saving your money? Are you spending it on you know food, going out, hanging out, etc.? You gotta ask yourself these questions. Oh, such and such got a new house, such and such got a new car. I want that, how come I can't have it? Well, did you plan? Did you research? Did you strategize? No longer can we accept being a victim or think that somebody's supposed to come and save us. We have the tools to save ourselves, but we have to acknowledge, you gotta ask yourself the question. You want some man to come take care of you or you want some woman to come take care of you. Why? You have all the skill set and tools to take care of yourself and to save yourself and live the life. Live a glorious life. We got to accept the fact right now, people, that nothing's easy. Nothing in this life is easy. But if you work for it and you keep moving forward and you pray on it, and then you put the action behind your prayers, I'm challenging you right now, and I'm telling you right now, things will change. When I got out of that victim mindset, and I said, Julius, you got this. Julius, why are you losing these jobs? Oh man, they don't they don't like me. It's a race racial underline. Yeah, it's that racial underline, some of that stuff may be true, but I also had to take self accountability. Was I giving it my all? Was I dominating in my job? Was I leaving any room for doubt? Right? Why, why was I always broke? As soon as I got some money, I was spending it. As soon as I got some money, I was spending it. Instead of paying myself, instead of saving myself, instead of paying off this debt, paying off those credit cards. I'm trying to tell you people, if you got high credit card debt, you want you pay that credit card, Man, when that paycheck comes in once a week, you know, twice a month, once a month, when them credit cards are paying off and you no longer have to pay those credit card companies, it's a different feeling. Oh, I got extra money. I'm debt free. It's a different feeling. So I'm here to tell you guys, man, I love you guys. And I say this with love. Nobody's coming to save you. You have the tools. You have the skill set to save yourself. You have everything you need to build yourself. You want that ideal partner? Well, start building yourself. Because nobody wants a project. 
and somebody does take on a project, you might not like the rules of that project. I'm trying to tell you. Life changes and opportunities. Ooh, a loud car. Life changes and opportunities are right in front of you. When you start taking the proper steps to serve yourself first. So love and peace, people. Hey, go get some beef free coffee. Be free coffee is the best coffee you will ever have. And let's just keep moving forward, man. Let's challenge yourself, each other to get better. Let's continue to love one each other, clear our minds, clear our hearts, and just enjoy life, man. Love and peace.